you know what Lynn's claim is for the damage that's been caused to yeah. her dog? And although she doesn't ask for it, the damage that's been caused to her finger and the loss of earnings as a result mm -hmm. of that. Why don't you owe her that money, please? Because I don't feel it was my fault. Whose fault was it? I just wonder if there was a cat involved. <laughs> Cara was on a lead. If Lynn's dogs had been on a lead also, I would have taken my dog round the side by the trees and said, right, you go past where your dog's first, and then I will carry on, which is what I normally do. So you feel it's unfair, because as far as you're concerned, the dog, uh, was, on, the dog was on a lead and therefore in control. Yeah. And regardless of whether your dog was safe or not, or bigger or not, Lynn's dogs started it, they were not on a lead, no. and in the circumstances they were out of control, they started the incident, and so anything that ensued, anything that followed, they're responsible for, and therefore, Sabrina, you yeah. don't have to pay for anything. Is that right? No, I'm not saying I don't have to pay for well, anything. What would you say the extent of your liability is? £100? £10? Some plasters for her fingers? I don't know. Would you like I, me I to come honest... up with a sum? I'll do it. I've got an abacus inside. Yeah. <laughs> If I had honestly thought it was my fault, I would have agreed to pay the vet bills, like I did with the other dog. But I did not... Do you think it could have been fault. prevented, Sabrina, if Cara had been wearing a muzzle? Possibly. Oh, that's an admission. I'm going to say yes. What about you, Lynn? Do you think it could have been prevented? Definitely. Now, as far as you're concerned, you had nothing to worry about. This wasn't your fault, as far as you were concerned at the time. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Would you mind saying that's correct, Judge Rinder? That's correct, Judge Rinder. I see.